Introducing Sentinel Spine, the company offering the most studied and clinically proven disc replacement technology in the world. Beginning with clinical usage in 1990, in over 30 years of use, ProDisc has become the most studied and widely used total disc replacement in the world. With over 540 published studies, the ProDisc L total disc replacement is designed to reduce pain, preserve motion, and improve patient function in patients with degenerative disc disease at one or two levels between L3 and S1. The ProDisc L implant is based on a ball and socket design with a semi-constrained fixed core providing a fixed center of rotation and a physiologic range of motion. ProDisc L end plates have patented central keels and lateral spikes for initial fixation to the vertebral bodies and a plasma sprayed titanium coating on all bone contacting surfaces to promote bony integration. With ProDisc L total disc replacement, there are angulation options for both superior and inferior end plates. The ProDisc L end plates are inserted in a collapsed position and then distracted for the polyethylene inlay insertion. This modular technique facilitates end plate insertion and provides controlled distraction for polyethylene inlay assembly. If performing a two-level procedure, complete one level and then move to the next. The end plate options guide outlines end plate options for each spine segment. For example, for the L5 S1 segment, if there is a low sacral slope, the three degree superior end plate and three degree inferior end plate are suggested. Further, for a high sacral slope and high lordosis angle, the three degree superior end plate and eight degree inferior end plate are suggested. Final end plate choice will depend on preoperative films as well as intraoperative trialing to determine the best fit for each patient. First, identify and mark midline on the superior and inferior vertebral bodies adjacent to the operative level. Second, Create an annulotomy, centered on midline, wide enough to accommodate the ProDisc L implant. Perform a thorough discectomy using the bone elevator and standard rongeurs, kerosens, and curettes, ensuring the posterolateral corners are free of disc material. Then, insert the vertebral body spreaders to the posterior margin of the vertebral bodies to gradually remobilize the motion segment. The posterior longitudinal ligament should be completely exposed and released or resected as required to achieve remobilization. Trial implants are used to determine the appropriate implant footprint, lordotic angle, and disc height. At this point, advance the trial to the posterior margin of the vertebral bodies. Also, the adjustable stop can be backed out to allow the trial to be positioned more posteriorly. Next, advance the chisel into the vertebral bodies until it is fully seated on the trial. The chisel and trial are left in place until the ProDisc L implant is ready for insertion. Now, load the inferior end plate and superior end plate onto the inserter and nest the two end plates together. Once complete, remove the chisel and trial. Align the keels of the ProDisc L implant with the chisel cuts and insert the end plates to the posterior margin of the vertebral bodies. Then, load the polyethylene inlay into the grooves in the inferior arms of the inserter. Assemble the distractor to the inserter and use the thumb screw to fully advance the distractor. When that is done, verify that the posterior edges of the end plates have separated from each other. Insert the inlay pusher into the grooves in the inferior arms, then Manually push and lock the polyethylene inlay into the inferior end plate. Finally, remove the instruments and verify final implant positioning. If performing a two-level procedure, repeat for the second level. <laughs>